Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I want to show you an easy way to farm unlimited lead that doesn't involve resetting your picked up items list. And I'm going to show you a couple of locations, one I would recommend for a public server and one I would use if I had access to a private server. So the first location, this is for the public server. That is actually where I am. I'm on a public server, uh, Crevasse Dam. And what you want is a location, first of all, you want a location that doesn't involve, uh, that doesn't get a lot of traffic from other players. Uh, that's the first part of this. And Crevasse Dam, there's really not much here. I mean, there's not much reason to go here. There's super mutants around, not that many though. Uh, and what we're going for is these can chimes right out front. Uh, usually there's a super mutant out here, but I don't see one. Uh, so we're going to grab the can chimes. And as you can see, a can chime will have nine, 10 cans in it. And each one has one lead. So each one of these will give you nine lead. And there's a couple out front, right out here. And then inside the door, looks like someone may have been here recently. Uh, there's a super mutant up top. We'll shoot him. Uh, then there's another can chime here. So that's number three. And then just inside this door is number four. Now, for whatever reason, and this is something I stumbled across accidentally, uh, can chimes don't seem to be subject to the uh, picked up items list, the 255 most recent items that you've picked up. And uh, like this desk fan would be, and we're gonna pick this up and I'm going to show you. So I've picked up uh, 36 10 cans, so that's 36 lead, that didn't take very long at all. Uh, and then we're going to leave the server. So here I am on a fresh server, well, I don't know if it's a fresh server, but it's a new server. And you can see right from the uh, fast travel spot right there, the there's the can chimes. The ones I picked up, they have respawned, and I haven't done anything. I haven't refreshed my picked up items list, nothing. All I did was server hop and uh, join another server. And, and the nice thing about this location that I really like, uh, number one, like I said, there's not a lot here. And so the chances of uh, another player uh, having come here before, right before you and picked up the 10 cans is really, really rather low. Um, but also, it's uh, you can you can see the ten cans from the spawn point, which is really nice. So if you spawn into a server uh, at this location, and you see there are no ten cans, there's a couple of reasons that could happen. Number one is another player could have been here like immediately right before you and picked them up. Uh, the more likely option though is that you have server hopped and ended up back on the same server. If that happens, you will not get you'll not be able to loot the same server again. Uh, so then that tells you just immediately just leave the server and find another one. But if we come in here, all of the cans that we uh, that we picked up before have respawned. We're on a different server. But you can see right here was the desk fan, and it, uh, it didn't respawn. So there is uh, something about the 10 cans that uh, I don't think it's always been the case uh, that, that it's been this way. It seemed like they used to be part of the picked up items list, but it seems like it's not that way now. I have no idea if it's intentional or if it's an accident. Obviously, if it's unintentional, it'll be something that'll be patched in a future, at a future time, but this is the way it works right now. So each time you do this, at least at this location, each time you do this, uh, there's 36 cans, which is 36 lead. I figure easily you could do this in a couple of minutes. I mean, you, you spawn right, right in front of the place. There's no other loading screen. So just between the server hopping and the looting, there's only a couple of enemies to deal with usually. Um, I figure you could get around a thousand lead an hour at this location on public servers. Now, obviously, if you get unlucky and server hop to the same location, you know, the same server, that'll cause delay. But it seems like a reasonable estimate. But next, I'll show you the, uh, the private server option that I like uh, for that. Now, for a private server, I actually like Camden Park. And the main reason for that is it has uh, six can chimes instead of uh, just four. But the reason I like it on a private server is this is an area that gets a lot of traffic. Uh, especially whenever there are spooky scorched or mole miner hunters or anything like that. Uh, so frequently that when you come here, the can chimes will be gone because another player has been recently and they have taken them. But that's not something that we have to worry about on a public or on a private server. So I'm going to do this route a couple times. The first time I'll just do it to show the route. So we'll do it a little slowly and then I'll do the second time. So if you want to fight everything you can, oh, there's a spooky. I don't care. So here are the first two can chimes. I'm sure most people know this, but I'm going to show it anyway. Uh, this is actually the location that uh, clued me into this. Uh, I when I did my armor plan video, uh, I spent a lot of time server hopping this location, trying to get the armor plans to spawn. And what I noticed is every time I did, the uh, can chimes were here. I was able to loot them just over and over again. So that's what got me to test other locations. 
All right, so then the last two, we've picked up four so far. The last two can chimes are all the way back here. And they are right here. And what you want to do uh, right now is just leave the server. Or you can shoot the spooky scorched and then leave the server. So the thing about private servers is if I were to leave the server and then rejoin it, it would, it would put me on the same server because they do stay persistent for a few minutes. Uh, but there is a way around that. You can actually force a private server to reset, and that involves a custom server. If you don't have a custom world set up, set one up. It doesn't really matter what it is. Just set one up just to have. And then what I'll do is I'll join the uh, custom server, and as soon as it says building world, I hit cancel. And that will force uh, the private server to uh, reset. Now you can see it's actually building me a new private server. All right, so here I am on the uh, a brand new private server. And this time I'm gonna do the run how I would normally do it. Uh, I wouldn't normally, if I was, if I just wanted to farm lead over and over here, I wouldn't bother sneaking and I wouldn't bother uh, even fighting at all. The nice thing about uh, Scorched being uh, kind of lower level, or at least uh, low damage wise, you can actually uh, ignore them for the most part. So you can just kind of run through here and uh, just make our way through and we can grab all the lead, uh, grab all the cans. And then as soon as you grab this other one, oops, I didn't get that one we would just uh, leave the world. And there we go. So because there are six can chimes at Camden Park, that is 54 lead per run and 108 steel. Now this, what I'm showing, this is for the two runs that I did. And I actually did time it out when I was, uh, when I was testing this location. And even though it takes a while to create a new uh, custom server, the fact that you can run through this without fighting anything if you want to, uh, it, it was taking me between one and a half to two minutes total and that includes server load time and whatever now obviously depending on your pc and your connection speed your mileage may vary but if i could do that uh, every couple of minutes uh, that's uh, 1600 lead an hour so for someone who has a private server available to them this is a really good option to farm lead and you can just keep doing that so it is unlimited now once again i have no idea if can chimes are intended to act this way or if they're supposed to be part of the picked up items list uh, if this is unintentional behavior, then expect it to be patched at some point in the future. But until then, it is some a nice way to accumulate lead. Take advantage of it while it lasts. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below. And I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.